Welcome to my life as an NPC, I am Carbon Seth and we are going to play Being a Dick. I just woke up from uh, uh, partying with the dicks, uh, not really partying, but ruining the preps party. I then went to Isabella's to uh, comfort Kathy and we did that, she feels better. Uh, and now we wake up after sleeping on Bella's couch with Jill right next to me and she kissed me goodnight. I think she is very much into me. Uh, whoopsie, that's interesting, isn't it? Now, let's see where we end up today, okay? Sunday. It's bright outside. Did I sleep for that long? Oh, she's already up. Jill's already up. Bella's probably up too. I could check on her. Hey, Bella, are you in here? Nope, she's awake. She didn't make her bed. Not that I'm much different when it comes to that. What's that on the floor? A photo frame? It must have dropped from her bedstand. Oh wow. She's beautiful. I hardly recognize her in this picture. And the happy. Smiling. She looks so happy. What a beautiful smile. So that's her husband. Not that uh, mannequin we saw in her room, in uh, one of her rooms though. <laughs> I wonder when it's okay to ask about him. It's kind of weird that he's not at home. I bet Jill knows something. Oh, okay, a free room already. Okay, cool. Complete the task in the task, task app. In the task, I talked to Jill, talked to Bella, optional. Ooh. Hmm. But we also have someone to talk to. Let's talk to Dad and Maya and Sage. So what will it be this year? What do you mean? Ah, you've reached that age to not be excited about birthdays anymore? Oh, you're already planning for it. Oh, no, it's not that. I've just been swamped lately. A lot of new impressions lately, eh? You can say that, it's been crazy lately, and, um, and time just flies, you, you, you can say that. Then your birthday comes at a perfect time this year. So what do you want, so what do you wish for? You don't have to get me something, for me it's enough to come home and see you. Money could come in handy, I don't wish for anything particular, surprise me. In their case, considering that they're broke, it's kind of like my situation, you don't wish for anything. He just wants to see them, even if I don't want to see them. But he wants to see his dad, that's good for him, enough for him. Maybe, you know, even bring his girlfriends, that would be awesome. I miss you too, son. But it's not a birthday without a gift. I'll have to think extra hard about it. Oh, before I forget, you still get mail to my address. I guess the, the postal services are lagging behind. It's mostly me, young man, but you did receive an important letter. Who's it from? You can open it for me. I'm ashamed to say I already did. I didn't want to bother you with it if it wasn't important. It's a letter you should read in person. Ooh. Should I be worried? Come on, tell me what it is. Should I be worried? No, 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 not at all. But it's important. It's about your mother. Don't worry. We'll talk about it when you come home. What about mom? Okay. I trust you know what's best, dad. Yeah, and that's also a nice surprise. We get to know something about our mom. Thank you, son. Talk to you soon. Have a nice Sunday. Take care, Dad. Love you, Dad. Uh, take care, Dad. Nice, Dad. Do you have a hangover today, too? Morning? Nope. I'm a bit tired, but other than that, I feel good. Nope, I'm good. You did uh, drink a lot last night. I'd be surprised if you didn't have a hangover. Yeah, I got a bit. Of, I got a bit carried away. I hate that Derek got to got the good jeans. Oh, look at yourself in the mirror. You got the good jeans. Yeah, he never gets hangover, right? Uh, yeah, cutie. Oh yeah, that's nice. When we, you know, I didn't do anything embarrassing, right? Not that I can remember. I enjoyed everything you did. You were a bit out of com com your comfort zone, I think. But nothing you did was embarrassing. Ooh. Oh, no, I enjoyed everything you did. That's a better answer. Whew. 
Good. I talked more uh, with Jose about it before bed. I got a feeling she was a bit jealous. Maybe I'm overanalyzing it, but I don't want her to feel that way. What do you think? She doesn't have to feel jealous, sure, I understand how she might feel that way, but we didn't leave her out of it on purpose. We just got horny and wanted it, that's how I see it. That's not good. I don't want her to feel jealous when we're all in this together. Yes, that's the better answer. That's how I feel too. Let's talk with her about it later. Are you dropping by later? Yeah, if I find the time for it. I just woke up. I haven't really planned the day yet. I see. Let's talk uh, later somehow. Time to get some breakfast. XOXO, hugs and kisses. And what does Sage want? Don't call me at night like that. Hmm. Okay, I won't. Sorry. I thought you were up. Ever heard of silent mode or vibrate? <laughs> That's a pissant answer. Uh, sorry. I thought you were up. Why would I be up after 2 a.m.? Maybe because it was a Saturday and you're a party girl? The party was over was over way earlier than that. None of the girls were in the mood to party after getting drenched by the sprinkler system. That's understandable. Never had a wet t-shirt con- oh, that's understandable, yeah. Don't be a dick about it, that's, that's the answer. Now get over it. I better get started. Talk to you later. Okay, so that's all. Good. What's going on over at Rooster? <laughs> this night could have could have gone better, but with you by my side, I always have fun. Mega Brothers forever. Bergmaster and voice. Uh, no, I don't care about that. Honestly, I don't care about the girls. Uh, hung over, feel like shit. Toast me. Toast me hot, burger my son Royce. You're so cute without makeup. Ah, that's so cute. You're hotter than most hearts. Such a natural beauty. You're the best mother a daughter could ask for. Your tits sagging makeup does you a favor. You should use it more, you bitch! How dare you? <laughs> what the fuck? She said toast, not roast. Oh, that's why. What does that mean? A beautiful sister with a wonderful humor. Think of it as the opposite of roasting someone. You make them feel better about themselves. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that comment. I didn't know what that toast meant. <laughs> it's cool. Um... Areas password one two three four. My God, you scum! I know my tits don't sag. Of course they don't. That was just repeating what people say to me. Say to me. Love you, sis. You're harder than caramel. Who's caramel? Ah, Melanie's caramel. You're such a bitch. Oh. You're so cute without makeup. Yeah, let's go with that. This will just bring out so much bad blood, especially with our girlfriends. What guy uses the word cute like that? Oh, thanks, I guess. You notice this guy's comment, but not your sister. Sisters. And thanks to everyone else too, jeez. You're welcome! Ay, ay, ay. The amount of drama. This is a secret post not to be read by Big Dick Tower. Oh my god, she is dumb! Can someone at Rooster help me with that? This Hell Week's party is awesome. This is my new hot best friend. This is my new hot best friend, Caleb. He's awesome. If anyone knows his Rooster Nick, let me know. Single life, hashtag party. Love you, Mona. Yeah, now we've seen a lot. We can battle even more. Now, let's see. We need to find the numbers.
Nothing about the number of books. Could not end the battle soon, only get out of uh, get out of there. Uh, okay, so that's back in there. Um, there we have something. <laughs> the boat has six balls in it for some reason. Forty-two six. She has a home gym. Don't forget to breathe. Uh, what? Yoga stuff, that reminds me. I should get some exercise soon. That's it. That's really it. I guess not. Jeez, I... No, not yet, damn it. What? How the hell did that happen? Uh, that's, well, that's weird. If I go up here, I go get back to the same place. If I go down here, I end up at the same place. What the hell? Oh, no. Morning, Bella. Making breakfast? Yes, I'm assuming you want coffee. Slept well? Yeah, that couch is more comfortable than you'd think. Do you need any help? No, go ahead and join Jill. She's by the pool. Oh, is she now? Mm -mm. Well, we're not going to the pool until I have scoured your entire living place. Which... She has a big mansion. Can't go anywhere in here? That's interesting. Why do why why do you wanna go a scene there so badly? No, but it's too dark to see anything, I'm gonna ask Gil about it. Uh, okay, that's super weird. Yes, there we go. I'm starting to learn this game. I'll do it before leaving. Yeah. Okay, so we are gonna help her paint the thing. 
the picket fence. Now what do we end up finding here? High heel boots. Some clean boots, yeah. Damn, she is a handyman too. But I saw something. A special render, thank you. Mm -hmm. No, oh, okay. I guess nothing now. Let's see if I actually can talk to someone first. No, 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 no. A bunch of renders. And that. Nah, let's talk to her. Good morning, Kurt. Hey, good morning. While Bella's still in the kitchen, I want to ask you something about her. What's the deal with her husband? Oh, wow. Um, I, uh, why are you asking me about this? You get the feeling that I can't ask Bella about it. He's not at home. She wears her wedding ring and I saw her wedding picture in her bedroom. So I got curious. You were in her bedroom? Listen, I don't know how close you are, but I think you're right. You shouldn't ask her about it. Come on, give me something. You can trust me not to tell anyone. I'm sorry, but I can't do this to her. And I don't think I can make you understand this without telling you things I shouldn't. Okay, another thing then. It might sound stupid, but what's in her locked room? What locked room? Then the one next to the bathroom. Is it locked? Yes. I haven't been there, been there a lot, but it's locked. And I know that it shouldn't matter, but yesterday she got awkward when we were standing next to it. Did she know? I didn't notice that. Now that I think of it, it's not the first time either. I think you're reading into things. Okay, so could I ask her about that? I... Kurt, what are you trying to do exactly? I don't understand what you're going for. Cut her some slack and let her have some privacy, okay? I'm just trying to understand her better. This isn't the way to do it. <sighs> Forget I asked. Coffee's ready. Great, thanks. And Jill is not um, feeling very comfortable here. Comfortable. It's a bit cloudy today. They say it will rain next week. I'm going to miss summer. You don't like fall or winter? No, I hate it. It's too cold and you can't do anything fun outdoors. You can do a lot of things outdoors. You can go hiking in the fall and go skiing in the winter. Then afterward you could uh, you cuddle up indoors in front of a fire. Yes. Yes, that's the absolutely best thing that there is. Cuddle up in front of a fire with a blanket and some hot cocoa. Yes, that's the best thing ever. And maybe a good movie afterwards. No, it's freezing outdoors and indoors you curse the heater. Showers don't get warm enough and you feel any draft from poor insulation. Oh. Maybe this winter will be different for you. Maybe. Maybe. I'll have to fix the broken windows in the dick smashing if that's going to happen. You're moving in there? That's been my plan since day one. They have this old library that they had that I had my eyes on. A library as a dorm. It sounds nicer than it is. The windows are broken and it's a total mess. I'm talking about ruined furniture and wallpaper and there are books and debris everywhere. Blah blah blah. I need to take a break after this because my mouth cannot talk anymore. It's going to take a lot of effort to clean it, let alone repair the damages. Do you have to stay there? You could apply for another dorm. Yeah, I could. If I had done that from the start, I might have had a place to call my own. I'm not giving up this easily now. I'm heading over there today to talk to them. Sounds like a plan for the day. How about you, Yale? 
I need to talk to Tabalt. That's about it for today. But I'm not in a rush for, or anything if you wanted to do something. My plans include yoga and finish painting the inside of the picket fence today. But you don't have to stay and help with that. I won't say no to yoga, but I didn't bring any clothes for it and I'd rather not sweat in these. I'll find you something to wear. How about you? Feeling up for it? Sure, why not? I should get some exercise today. Drink your coffee before it gets cold. Ooh. Heather, I thought it was Maya, but it's Heather, okay. Morning. Not so loud. You too? Good. Then I don't have to feel bad for spending the day on the couch. Is it weird that I feel more hungover from that party than any other normal party? Not really. Think about it. Last night you had to drink to have fun. You probably done a few extra because of that. With a party at the dicks, you don't. Speaking of them, did you hear about the hell week misunderstanding? All right. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to deal with that fallout. Let me guess. You saw Kurt at the party? Yeah, don't remind me. Do you guess why he had to be there? I mean, I know we got paid for it, but do we really need it? More sisters mean that we need a higher income. Yeah, but doesn't that scale with the fundraising work we already do? That's too much math for a Sunday, Heather. But what about the fees we pay? They should cover a lot. Hey, don't look at me. This was Sage's idea. I don't agree with it. We uh, shouldn't talk like that. They're gonna dethrone Sage, huh? By making her... The bad guy in all of this. God damn it. Who am I gonna bitch to about it then? Six new sisters gonna live here with us? It will get way too crowded. And what's that part of really a one-time deal? Sage has made such a bad has made such bad decisions lately. I think the stress of being a senior is starting to affect her leadership. She should just pass the torch already. And here we have Quinn being dumped by Tommy! Fucking A. Is she actually sad? Or is she just introspecting here? Oh. She is high out of her mind. And she really do look like uh, Charlize Theron. It's me. I know I'm late, something happened, but don't worry, I have it now. All of it. No, I'm not making any excuses. Tomorrow night. Bye. Queen, do you have a moment? This better be good. It's about Mona. Yeah, whoring, uh, she was... Um... Uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Burke is being sleazy and we need to kick some sense into his dumb ass. She wanted to tell me that she's out. Out? You know, the tuition. She couldn't go through with it, so she's out. Where is she? Oh, in her dorm? Is she going to be a problem? You see, this is where you answer me, Camilla. Don't you stand there dumbfounded by a simple fucking question. Is she going to be a problem? Yes or no? That's bad. That's really bad. So, how am I supposed to join you for yoga? I got nothing to wear. Wait here, I'll find both of you something. <laughs> this wasn't well thought out for us e for either of us. I agree. What is the joke though? And it, worst comes to worst, you we can do yoga naked. No, that's well. Okay, let's see what she thinks about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Bella would love that idea. Okay, so it's, it works um, as long as you get to be friends with her first. 
Here you go, I hope that fits. Yeah, some pretty old, these are some pretty old clothes. Take it or leave it. Jeez, what about me? You can do yoga naked. Follow me, I have something old you can wear too. Why not something new? Why not something new? You don't want to fit in my new clothes, but I've outgrown my old ones. Oof, sorry, you're not fat. I didn't say I was. Whoops. Thank you for the clothes. Mm, these are male clothes. They probably belong to her husband. Shirt is too short, it's pretty worn out. But the uh, shorts fits. I'm not sure they fit. Damn, they are skin tight, bruh. They're still changing into yoga outfits. Can't wait for them in the uh, home gym. Mm, yeah, we don't we don't have to peek. No. This is gonna be fun, though I hope Bella isn't as boss as she was last time. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, that's a really cool neck. Love this. That's cool. Hey, those clothes did fit. Well, we cannot complain that the shirt is too short uh, to compliment them. Looks like yours did too. And Bella is, uh, is, and Bella is beautiful as always. Are you done? All right, let's do some yoga. How do we do this? Let's take turns using the yoga mat. You two can start with the yoga balls. Okay, what do we do with them? I'll show you. Hey, why is this ball cut in half? You can do push-ups with it and it's great for balance training. Here, sit on this ball. All right, then what? Keep your feet in place and start pivoting your body. Hold that position. Can you feel how your buttocks are engaged? Uh, take it seriously. Yeah, they're engaged, all right. Just do that and change position every 30 seconds. Looking good, Bella. Don't forget to breathe. What the hell is this view? She is very flexible. Yeah, I know. I try my best, but nowhere near as flexible as she is. God dang. Can you do those positions that she's doing? Pretty much, but not as well. Bella usually gives me pointers of what I need to improve. Time to change position, Kurt. Pivot to the other side. Perfect, hold it like that. What is going on? Mm, what's that position? That's a bridge pose. I'm not sure you should be moving your hips like that. I could be wrong though. I see, looks good. Back to the other side, pivot. My buttocks are feeling it for sure. Jill, you're up. All right, you can continue to show Kurt how to do exercise, uh, how to do exercise with a ball. Balls are great for your ass, huh? What? These yoga balls, they're great. My ass is already sore. I'm happy that your ass is sore. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You can do other exercises with them too. Lie down on it, facing the floor. Okay, like this. Yes, but spread your legs. How is she gonna take this? <laughs> she does not enjoy when you joke with her. Um, done. Now lift one leg and hold it for as long as you can while keeping balance. This is core exercise, right? Correct. Keep alternating your legs. Bella, how does this look?
Is she sure it is a bit too, uh, too big for her, huh? It looks perfect. Great form. Everything is too big for her. <laughs> Let's not do that! <laughs> let's not do that. Okay, let's switch. Take a breather. Oof! What is this? Get ready for a switch, Jill. Okay, I'll do one more exercise. So this was this entire scene was peek as much as you can without getting caught, basically. No, is my answer to that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm done. Kurt, you're up. I want to know where to start. Someone's gonna help me, right? Let's see how you do the downward facing dog. This is called a plank. Start by lying down, fl down flat on the ground with your hands along the side. <laughs> I didn't know planking was a yoga position. You learn something new every day. Put your fingertips in line with the center of your chest and press up to all fours. Holy shit. That sounds like it's extremely heavy. Okay. Tuck your toes and lift your hips straight up toward the ceiling. Keep your knees straight and slowly place your, place your heels on the floor. That's it. Now you're doing the downward facing dog. My leg hurts. Oh, this is tricky. My legs hurt. Good, that means you're doing it correctly. How about your arms? They are starting to hurt too. Keep that pose for a bit. When you're done, you can go back to to the all four pose, to the all fours pose, and then transition into the upward facing dog. Then that's the pose you already know from before. How's it going? Very good. Keep your abs flex flexed. Hi, <laughs> I am. It's doing good, isn't it? For a beginning, yes. Isabella! Uh, you nasty lady! Uh. How was your date? Do you want to know about it? I was going to ask you, but I didn't find the time for it. If I had, we wouldn't have that. I've had that alter altercation last night. So I'm asking you now. How was it? It was... Good. I like this company. But... We'll see if it leads to something. He didn't seem that interested in me. Maybe it was nerves. Maybe. Okay. Time for some yoga pair poses. Yell. Right, now I remember. She kissed me because she kisses people goodnight. Nothing special about it. Wow, that looks painful. It's not painful if your muscles are warmed up and you take it slow. How close can we look? Very good, Jill. Breathe. Yeah, I don't know. This looks too advanced for me. I think you will be able to do it. How are your legs feeling, Jill? They are getting used to the pain. Let's keep this pose for a little while longer. Do you want to try it, Kurt? Hmm. If you promise to go easy on me, come and sit down. We'll get, take it slowly. Give me your hand. Why are we squeezing her abs? That's not necessary, is it? Here you go. What's next? Bella? Put your feet against mine. Like that. Bella. Yes, like that. 
Then what? Uh, press your feet against mine. Okay, it's starting to hurt a little bit. Good. Now, variantly, lean in and touch my forehead with yours. If it hurts too much, don't go all the way. Uh, yeah, this hurts. You're doing great. Keep it for a little while longer. Good. That's all there is to it. Good workout. You two did great. Thanks, it was fun. It's way different than how I usually train, but it felt good. I'm not fully done yet. I still need to train some more balance. Go ahead. I'm heating up the sauna. Oh, you have a sauna? My god, some people live in luxury. Feel free to join me afterward. Thanks, but I don't think I will. If you change your mind, you'll find the fresh you'll find fresh towels by the shower. Do I sound like a ship? I mean Son of a bell. Sounds son sounds, sounds great, I'll join you. Your son is hot. And no, I'm not one of those sweets that can live in a sauna. Nope, that's not me. It's uh, I need more air than that. Isn't that the point, though? I was just saying. It's the same with ice cream. You know how it's you know how it's really cold. There are towels outside if you want one. I'm okay. The times I've been in a sauna, I've always worn swim trunks anyway. It's your choice. But you just exercised in those trunks. What is... How? Just tell me you'd rather see me naked in a towel if that's it. No. <laughs> gonna get sweaty anyway. What's the difference? I'm gonna get sweaty in here anyway. <sighs> this is relaxing. What a luxury to have a sauna and a pool in your home. Yes, it's a very nice home. Have you lived here for long? Ten years, something like that. Damn, that's a long time. Me and my dad have lived in this house since I was a kid. Does it feel strange to move away for college? Yeah, sort of. It's a big chance, that's for sure. It's a big change, that's for sure. I do miss living with him, but it... It also feels like I've gotten more freedom now that I moved out. I remember that feeling. My parents and I were fighting constantly before I moved out. And as soon as I left, our relationship changed for the better. We stopped fighting about petty things and we could just be happy whenever we got the chance to see each other. That sounds nice. Where do they live? They used to live here, in this house. Oh, it's their old house. But they are gone now. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. My dad and I never fought that much, except for martial arts. <laughs> yeah, that's a different kind of fighting. I guess the the one big thing that's different now is that I don't have to worry about him catching me masturbating in the shower. Why did you say that? <laughs> Why did you say that? That is not something you say ever. To anyone, I don't care who you are or who you're with, you don't say that. <laughs> what? Nothing. It is... Uh, no, as I said, uh, Maya and uh, Jose. But I am good at this. I can get any girl I want, more or less. It's getting too hot for me. I'm going to cool off with a shower. Go ahead, I'll still be a while. <sighs> yeah, I mean, we could easily do this uh, paint the pig fence as well, but no, I'm gonna cut off right here. Uh, I am really curious about all the scenes I missed because I am so loyal to Maya and uh, Josie. But. Uh, I am sticking with one game for YouTube and one game, or and the rest of the games went outside of YouTube. 
essentially. Uh, so yeah, we missed. There was a lot of missed opportunities here. Ah, whoo! I am so tired right now. I've been recording three videos, and uh, it's taken up more than two hours, I think. Uh, but I'll see you in the next uh, video. And remember, just because you're not the main character doesn't mean you're not important. Goodbye, everyone.